Are stationary drills a waste of time? Well, let's break it down. When we do most crossovers, what's gonna happen? We're gonna do a quick stop or at least an extreme slowing down to make that change of direction. The only exception to that would be maybe on a throw cross when we're kind of on the break. A lot of times in the half court set when we're setting things up, what happens with our feet? They're pretty much set. The stationary drills can really help with your ball handling on that side of things. The one exception I would say is a lot of the moves where the basketball is gonna be in one hand and stay in that hand, like your in and out dribble and things like that. Stationary drills can help get you the feel and control for it but that being said you've got to start to be able to get comfortable with the pan positions because they're going to be different in an in and out stationary i can use this maybe for a side step right my hand position will be here but if i'm going to move here i want my hand to end up behind the basketball so i can push it forward after i release the dribble little details like that are going to change when we're doing our stuff on the move stationary drills can help your handles a ton that being said you've got to get some moving work in the mix if you want a free workout that you can do that's somewhat stationary with a little bit of footwork check out the free workout at GetHandles.com.